Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Uh, this is a practical math channel. We do math with a purpose. Today I'm going over the ASVAB military placement exam. I'm going over section two, arithmetic reasoning, and this is the second part in the series. I'll put a link here for the first video for problems numbers one through 18, and then this is the rest of that arithmetic part. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks so you could do the very best you can. What I would do is I would print this out do the test first, do the very best you can, and then watch me do some of the problems. So maybe do five of the problems, then watch me do them, and make sure you're on the right track. This ASVAB military placement exam is without a calculator, and it is about a minute per problem. So there's a trick in every problem, and you just want to look for that trick and see if you can figure it out. The first 18 problems are in a previous video, so let's go ahead and work our way through these right here. Carpenter earns 12.30 an hour, 12.30 an hour for a 40 hour week. He makes one and a half times that amount for overtime and he works 46 hours. So one and a half times 1230, I'm gonna take half of that, about six, plus the 12 to get 18. So I'm gonna round here and we'll see if it works out. I think it will. 40 times 12 is 480. And then six hours after that, six times 18 is 60 and 48, 108. In overtime, add those together and I get 588. So I look up here, obviously 110 doesn't even make sense, it's not even close. 492 doesn't make sense. So I eliminate answers that don't even make sense, right? And I had that 108 with rounding to give me 588. So there are two that I could guess between here and here. But when I did these dollar amounts, I rounded down, right? I used 12 bucks and 18 bucks, but he's actually making 1230 and 18, I don't know, 45 or something. So because I rounded down in my figuring, I know I got to round up from here. So the correct answer is answer A. Again, there's no calculator on this test and you're kind of looking for tricks on how to do it without a calculator. Number 20, an office building has 30 employees and has 42 square feet. So I'm going to try and figure this out. More employees are added. How much workspace will each employee have? So square feet per employee. So let me start with 42, and I can see that's divisible by three to give me 14 over 10. And now there are five more employees, so there's 47 over 30. How much more square feet? Well, it's five more, five over 30 is gonna be six, so the answer is gonna be A. So you don't even actually need that 42. You know there are gonna be five more employees over 30 feet, so it's gonna be six square feet. Number 21, Stan bought a monster truck for 2,000 down and 450 a month. So 2,000 down plus 450X, where X is the number of months. For five years, what's the total cost of the truck? Five years, 12 times five is 60, right? So I'm gonna take that 60 and put it in there. And then let's see, I cross that one out right away, but it doesn't even make sense. And then I think I do have to do this 450 times six, zero, 30, 24, 27. And then don't forget that extra zero there. So I got 27,000 plus the 2,000 down to give me 29,000. So Darla spent 120, 37 on groceries. January 108, 45 in February, 114, 86. March, what's the average cost? Well, this one doesn't even make sense. It's way out of the ballpark. It's probably the sum of these. So it's got to be between these three, but these two are so close. Um, I know it's going to be one of these two right here. So I think because these are so close, I'm going to actually have to do all this. 7 and 5 is 12. 12 and 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 4 and 4, 8. 16. Carry the 1. Uh, 9, 13, carry the 1, 3, 4, and then 343, 68. So there it was the sum of all of them. And then I have to do this 343, 68 divided by 3. Well, I forgot enough room here. So I'm going to do 3, hopefully you can see this, in a 343, 68. 3 in the 3 is 1. Bring down the four, goes in there one. 13 goes in there four times to give me a 12. 
uh, making a mess here, 16, three goes into 16 five times. So I could stop right there if I wanted to, because it's got to be D, this is 114, 56. So I don't have to finish that. I know it's going to be answer D. He's driving from Reno to Kansas City with his girlfriend. The difference between the two cities is 1650. He can average 50 miles per hour. How many hours will it take him to complete the trip? So it's just going to be 50 into 1650. It's going to go into 165 three times to give you 150. 150 again, 33. So it's going to be 33 hours. Right there, answer 23. Okay, number 24. Let's see if we can figure this one out. He needs 55 gallons of paint. So we got 55 gallons here. And he wants to spend as least as possible. With two 25 gallon buckets, that's not going to work. So we're going to cross that out even to start with. Then I have 11 five gallon buckets. That'll give me 55 gallons exactly. So that's going to be 108 times 11. Six 10 gallon buckets. So that's going to be 215 times 6. That's looking like a lot. 55 one gallon buckets. So 55 times 23. I don't know if there are any shortcuts. I might just have to do these out. I'm going to start here though and see if this is going to work. I got 8, 0, 1. Placeholder 8, 0, 1. I add that up to get 8, 8, 1, 1. So 1,100 bucks. This is going to be 30, 9. This is going to be a 12, so that's out. And then right here, I got 15, carry the 1, 16, 10, 11. I got 5, 6, 2, 1. This is the best option right here, uh, 108 times 11, so it's, it's B. So you read through this problem, you have 12, 18, and 18. That's going to give you 48 ounces, 16 ounces to the pound to give you 3 pounds. So per day, one troop eats 3 pounds. How much for a 10-day period? So one troop's going to eat 30 pounds per day. A truck can carry 3 tons or 6,000 pounds. So a truck carries 6,000 pounds. A troop is going to need 30. 6,000 divided by 30 is 2. So there it is right there. So it's 200 troops. Or I guess they're not troops, actually. They're just people. Okay, 26. A train headed south. So it's going this way. At the same time, a train headed north. So they're both leaving from the same place. The one going south is 55 miles per hour. Miles per hour. And then the other one is going 70 miles per hour. And then after three hours, we've got three hours, so I'm going to just multiply that by three hours. My hours will cancel, and that'll give me 210 miles. Multiply this by three hours, that'll give me 165 miles. So how far apart will they be? They'll be 375 miles apart or answer D right there. Number 27, a carpenter needs to cut four sections each, three feet, eight inches. Three feet, eight inches. From a piece of molding, if the board is only sold by the foot, what's the shortest length of board? So we've got four sections. You could do this a few ways. I think I'm going to multiply it by four. To get four times eight is 32 inches. Four times three is 12 feet. So I got 12 feet, 32 inches. 12 inches to the foot, so I'm going to take 24 out of here. 24 inches out of here is going to make that 14 feet. Uh, 14 feet, 8 inches. So I got 14 feet, 8 inches. What's the shortest board by the whole foot? It's going to be 15 feet. Answer A. Turn in the page. Number 28. I have only one coupon for 10% off. This is a typo here, frozen turkey breast. The turkey breast costs $8.50 each. So if they're $8.50 each, she only has one coupon, so she's going to save $0.85. Cents. However, she wanted to buy two, so it's going to be a total of $17. Minus at $0.85 cents in savings. 
which is going to give her $16.15. We're answer A right there. Number 29, a recruiter travels 1,100 miles during a 40-hour work week. If she spends two-fifths of her time traveling, two-fifths of her time traveling, how many hours does she spend traveling? Uh, so you got to figure that out. It's 40 times two-fifths. Five goes into 48 times. Five goes into itself once to give you 16 hours. So 29 is C. That whole 1100 is really just a distractor. Last problem right here. Your car uses gasoline at a rate of 21 miles per gallon. The gas costs 282. Well, that's not California per gallon, and you drive for seven hours at a speed of 48 miles per hour. How much will you pay for gasoline for the trip? But we're driving 48 miles per hour. So 48 miles per hour times seven hours is 56. 28 plus the 5, 2833. So I'm going to travel a total of 336 miles. I'm getting 21 miles per gallon, so 21 into 336 is once. 21, that's going to give me a 2 and a 1, a 126. That'll be 6. So I'm going to use 16 gallons of gas, 282 times the 16 gallons of gas. So that's going to give me 12, carry the 1, 48, 49. 12 plus 4, 16. Placeholder, 2, 8, 2. Add them together, 2, 11, 15. Carry the 1, 4. And then 282, I got 45, 12. So answer B is the correct answer. Okay, well, I sure hope that helped. Uh, keep practicing, keep doing your best. And, and the more you practice, the better you'll get. Doing these standardized tests is really kind of figuring out the tricks in all of them, especially without a calculator. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. Uh, if this helped you, please comment below and comment with your plans on what, what you plan on doing uh, in the military. Thank you for watching.